Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Hi, I'm in YouTube, here with you this evening to bring you a joyous occasion. If the sound was the uh, sound you hear is coming from the non-working radio. You may notice that the sounds to enhance the play's The uh, resistor right there, that's the resistor in question. Bringing life to a theatrical production also This is the old one. Appealing to the audience's visual and tactile oh, senses. Sorry, too, too close. This is where I'll put it on the thing. Here's the old one right there. Um, the murders needed to look as it measured 14 and a half, I think. It's supposed to be a 12K. Um, the one I put in there is 13, a little over 13. It's published by the US close to tolerance. It's a lot closer than that one, and that's as close as I got. These are 5% resistors, but they have drifted. So, it provides educational information anyway, I have it playing now, and... The recipe Emmy found. Would you have my pain? So it's playing pretty good. It actually, plays better than the other one. Blood recipe. Emmy considered not only the way the fake blood looks, but how the actors need it. I still have to uh, take that resistor and put it back in like it's supposed to be. I just stuck it in there as a temporary thing just to test the radio because I didn't think uh, you know it was actually within tolerance, but it's close enough to where it works. I uh, will have to find some better resistors eventually. That's before finding the perfect. Well, like I said, it's working rather well, so. I'm happy about that. Um, one of the things that is wrong with this is the switch on this. Do that batch of blood to make I'll show it, you what I'm talking um, about. Unless, uh, more red and like one of the things bit. we're working with is um, Tony, the lighting designer, who didn't. They just barely touch it. But it also like takes so, any kind of red and makes it brown. I will brown. replace that also. Um, so the public and that should take care of this one. On a normal, like, uh, top lit amber light show. Like I say, and it does appear to be light, working we very add, well. Like, even more red to so, it. So, don't have to mess with that anymore. Um, I just wanted to uh, show you that real quick while I had a free moment. Um, I did get my visitors, as I said, and they are busy doing something on the Wii. So while they were doing that, I thought, well, what better time to try this uh, resistor? I was anxious to find out if that was the real problem or not, and apparently it was. So happy about that, very happy. And uh, like I say, I'm going to go ahead and until they call me for something <laughs> and uh, replace that switch and uh, finish putting that resistor in, clip the leads on it, and then we will see what else we got to do so I uh, may be back I may not hi I'm back with you again YouTube I did get that in uh, to get the uh, resistor soldered in properly and the new switch as you can see right there it does work much better now so no problem with that the FM or the uh, AFC seems to be working just fine so I don't want to mess with that A lot down there. Turn the AFC off. Israel, 
and then expanded his culinary. Just wanna hear. Any other promotion or discount? Ask a tax pro or see Jackson Hewitt Duncan. Also, have to keep in mind this hasn't been aligned yet. I don't think it's in as uh, bad a need as the alignment as the other one. That's about it. Let's see what it does on AM. I didn't test it much on AM. It's a wonder I'm not getting a lot of noise from the uh, um, soldering station. It usually gives me a bunch of noise. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Let me turn that off real quick. Apparently that wasn't a problem. And I think the AM side seems to be in more need of an alignment than uh, FM. So we will tweak that. Yeah, there's nothing there. So, So uh, we will call that a success. I think you will agree. There's a piece of solder in there. I want to get that out if I could. All right. So uh, wrap this up real quick. All right. Like I said, it uh, does seem to work very well now, and I'm happy about that. Uh, I plan on getting some resistors. Uh, it's one of the things I haven't bought yet. Uh, when I get that, I'll I'll go ahead and replace those with the proper. 12k and uh, we'll go from there but those should last a lot longer if they're closer to tolerance the closer they are anyway I should say so now we have two uh, AM FM radios working like I said the F or the AM on this one seems to be uh, uh, pretty much in need of alignment but we can do that um, don't know when we'll get to it but we will get to it it's one more thing I have to do I guess um, a couple of you guys want to see the uh, the tube tube type uh, radio used for the uh, troubleshooting. Uh, I will get to that, but um, if you know if you follow my troubleshooting series, you know it's sometimes a while between each thing I do, and uh, I try to I try to keep up with other stuff in the meantime. So while I'm doing that, uh, that's just the way that'll work, I guess. But uh, Anyway, I guess that's about all I have for tonight. Now the girls have been in there uh, quiet, and that kind of worries me. <laughs> any, any guys that you have teenagers that are quiet, you, you, you know what that means. So, uh, anywho, I will uh, get off here. You guys have a pleasant evening, and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.